Welcome back for uh, episode 11. You're doing chop chicken bacon ranch. I'm satisfied with life. I do not just get by. I cry. What a miracle to be up and alive. Gotta take care of some business. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let me know what you want to see me cook. So, this is real simple. It's a sandwich. But it's all in the meat and the bacon. So I use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can use breasts. I prefer thighs and I wash my meat. Personal preference, you can do what you want to do. I season the chicken with Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and some smoked paprika. Real simple and straightforward. I cook the chicken in avocado oil and bacon grease and my favorite hex clad. And I cooked it on each side for five minutes a piece. I used the same pan to cook bacon. I'm not gonna show you how to make bacon, you know how to do that. But I did it on purpose so my chicken would have a chance to rest. You're gonna see how moist and juicy this chicken is. Since the meat pieces are so big, I do a rough chop on them before I start adding my toppings. I have to do red onion on a sandwich and I pre-chop them just to make it easier to incorporate. Then I also added some bread and butter pickles because I wanted the sweetness. I added some lettuce, of course. And then I also added these roasted red peppers. It's like a new favorite find of mine. I've never had them before, but I really do enjoy them. Um, they just give a nice little extra something in there. Now I'm going to top my sandwich with some cheese, but I said, hey, let's incorporate a little bit of cheese in there just for texture purposes. Um, and it, it turned out really good. So really, this is a sandwich. Again, you put your favorite things in there. If you don't like onions, don't add onions. You could add cucumber or hot peppers, jalapenos. I was going to add pepperoni, but I didn't have any. Like most sandwiches I make, it depends on what I have on hand. But feel free to freestyle this. I started really light with my ranch and just use whatever your favorite ranch is. If you don't like ranch and you want to put another dressing in, feel free to do so. But this is the ranch part of the chopped chicken bacon ranch. So I put a little bit in it and I just fold towards the middle just to keep it on my board. And then um, I'm going to give it a little taste and see if I like how much is in there. And honestly, this chicken was so juicy. I didn't marinate it. It was a quick, you know, dinner. But it was so juicy, but I added more ranch because I just wanted more ranch flavor. It wasn't for moisture. I know there's someone out there wondering why I didn't use a ranch packet. Well, if I would have seasoned my chicken with the ranch packet, because it has milk solids in it, it would have probably burnt. Um, and this really is just the best way to go. But if you want to sprinkle a little ranch powder in there, I think it would be okay. You just have to be mindful of the salt because it's very salty. Now I'm using a hot dog bun, a potato one. And the reason why I'm using a hot dog, I didn't want to have this huge sandwich that I couldn't actually finish and eat. So I thought this made more sense from a size perspective, but of course you can use a, a roll and make a much larger sandwich. Um, that's really a personal preference. And honestly, I don't like to have like three or four breads in my pantry. Um, I grew up eating hot dogs on sandwich bread. So this worked for me and the potato bun was really a winner. Now you're going to stuff it really good and then I'm topping mine with pepper jack. I love pepper jack and I believe in using very flavorful ingredients so you have a real complex flavor but you use whatever your favorite uh, cheese is. And then I'm going to put it in my air fryer give me a nice toasty melt on this cheese. Oh this came out perfect. The bread was so nice and toasted. It had a little browning on the cheese that gave it just brought out all the flavors that pepper jack flavor in the cheese this is you know a viral recipe i see why there's a million ways you can do this i like the chopped cheese i don't like big pieces of chicken falling out my sandwich so the chop makes sense in this application i hope you will try this i hope you enjoy it as much as i did until next time but don't forget leave me a comment of what you want to see i'm out of here mm.